Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. In this video, we're going to tie the Clean Camera Special. We're using the Clean Camera hook designed by Hans van Klinken, the Daiichi 1170. Typically, we fish this in 14s and 16s, but you can tie it as big as, as you like and all the way down to size 22. Just a great um, all-purpose emerger pattern. Also just a super searching pattern. The wing, we're gonna put on some McFlylon with the type of poly yarn. So you're using poly, poly yarn. And I like to use this gel spun thread, the Semperfly Nano Silk, just because it gives me the ability to really compress like things like that yarn. And I cut that yarn off at an angle and I can tie that in, kind of get a little bit of a taper up to up to the, the wing. So we'll go up and I'll fold that post up. I'm trying to, there's kind of a flat spot on the top of this hook. I'm trying to center that wing right in the middle of that flat spot. And we'll go ahead and just wrap around the base of that post to so parachute it. Give ourselves a nice sturdy base to wrap our hackle on. Okay. Now we can Go down the hook shank. You can use lots of different dubbings for this fly, like fine natural dubbing from Nature Spirits, a really nice one. Even their snowshoe rabbit. I'm gonna use the Nature Spirit Emergence dubbing. I just like the sparkle that it has. It's an Antron dubbing. I've used this on my clean cameras for a long time. And it dubs pretty easy, actually. Just putting on a tapered, tapered dubbing noodle there. We'll start low and just work our way. Work, <clears throat> work our way up the hook shank, kind of building in a little bit more of that taper as we go. And if you need to add more dubbing, of course, just add a little tiny bit at a time. There we go. It's a pretty spiky dubbing, but it's nice for kind of giving that emerger effect. And if you've got some fibers that are a little longer than you want, just go in and take those out. Okay. So now that we're here at our post, we can go ahead and tie in our hackle. I've just stripped, this is just grizzly saddle hackle. I've stripped off some of the fibers and I'm gonna bring that, tie that in and then bring the, whoops. I'm gonna tie in the stem down at the base here and I'll tie the stem Tie the stem cheapers, grow. There. Come back down. I can even 
take that little bit of stem and fold it back. Now we've got our post set with our hackle. I'm gonna take a little more emergence dubbing. This is peacock green. We'll build some thorax around the post. Just a little extra here. Okay, and then we'll take our thread up onto our post once we're done with our thorax. Now it's just a matter of taking our hackle, starting at the top and wrapping underneath itself. Kind of pull those fibers up as you go. That way you're just getting them trapped under one another. Okay, you can put a fair amount of hackle on these as you, as you like, but it gives it plenty of floatability if you get enough wraps on there. I'm gonna take my thread and tie it off underneath the hackle, like that. And then we'll take and trim out our, our hackle. Now, one trick that I like to do with this and, and a lot of other parachutes is actually take the hook now and turn the fly down like this. And what you can do is then take your whip finisher, get your thread attached, and whip finish underneath the hackle. And just tighten that up. That hides it, you don't have to try to get back onto the hook eye and trap down a bunch of extra hackle fibers. It just makes a nice clean tie. You can put the Clean camera back. That's kind of how it would sit in the water. This is a super great pattern. I got my post a little bit long here yet. Typically we fish these either in a tan is kind of great for caddis we also will fish it in smaller sizes in an olive for like blueing olive hatches and um you know you can tie them in all black as a great summer searching pattern when there's a lot of terrestrials falling in and um you know when you tie it with enough hackle it'll definitely support a dropper so you can do dry dropper rigs with this it's just a great summertime go-to dry dropper um combo clink hammer with a small tungsten beadhead nymph below it pretty much fish that any day of the the week in the summertime so definitely tie up some clean cameras i'm hans from dakota angler and outfitter thanks for watching